Hey guys, Severian here with Ariana SMC, and welcome to my first fun mod review. And uh, when, by fun, I mean a uh, mod that adds cool things into your game that isn't a utility mod. Um, so basically, the mod I am reviewing today is the Archimedes Ship mod. And um, I think by far this is the coolest mod I've ever seen. Um, this mod is Forge compatible, so as long as you have Forge installed, just drag, um, just download this um, mod from the Minecraft forums and uh, put in your mods folder in your dot Minecraft folder. So um, yeah, um, the website to the uh, Minecraft forums of this mod will be in the description below. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the Archimedes ship mod. All right, so um, this mod adds five. Um, blocks into your game and um, I'll show you all the crafting recipes for them. Alright, so the first block is called the ship marker. Basically what it does um, when you build a super duper big pirate ship or whatever or a tiny little sail ship like mine or a uh, super duper big C-130 airplane or even a um, little hot air balloon like mine you can um all you have to do is just put this sh ship marker into the your boat or airplane and it automatically becomes a sailable or flyable boat or ship so yeah basically if you build a ship or boat you can't do anything with it until you put your ship marker in there so uh yeah without further ado i'll show you the crafting recipe so all you have to do is put any wood plank in each of the corners, stick surrounding, and an iron ingot in the middle. And then you make your ship marker. So uh, all you have to do, you just place it when your boat, um, and any blocks that are um, touching it, and any blocks that are touching the touch, um, any blocks that are um, touching the blocks that are touching the ship marker, um, will become part of your ship. Basically, any blocks that are connected with the ship marker will be part of your ship. So I've, all you have to do is right click with it and um, yeah so you just go ahead and move forward and that becomes your ship. Any blocks are connected with it. And um, it won't connect with sand or gravel because those are kind of gravity affected so if they move then they will just fall. So that's why this uh, oops. No! What are you doing? Uh, my controls are weird right now. So uh, when you uh, there are four controls that actually come with this mod: ascend ship, descend ship, break, and align ship. So ascend and descend are basically what they are. Break ship is what they are, and align ship is um, basically if your ship is like out of the axis, all you have to do is just click that um, button, and it'll automatically align. So what you want to do, you don't want your um, sneak, or I mean not sneak. Uh, ascend ship button to be X because you need to uh, press X to get out of your ship marker. So I just set it as V. So because um, you need to hold X to get out of your ship, as you can see. Press press X to dismount. So uh, whoa. Um. All right then. <laughs> all right. So the next um item is called a measurement gauge, and basically what it is. It's a little indicator that indicates what direction you're going in and your speed. So this uh, circle, not circle, sorry, I'm not breaking the rules of Minecraft. This little the shape is basically your compass and the red stick will always point in the north direction. So um, yeah, it'll help you navigate around the world. And um, this one right here basically is basically your speed indicator. It'll... Um, yeah, so the red part is the highest speed, and then, yeah. So, and then these other things are, don't do anything, they're just for show. So this is the crafting recipe for it. Um, just two glass panes in the top corners, iron ingots here, gold ingots here, and a redstone there. So this is not mandatory to put into your ship, but it's um, recommended because it's pretty useful. Alright, the next one is an extended gauge, which is basically the same thing as the regular measurement gauge except it adds two more things this one um it keeps rotating as you ascend your ship um sorry i have to say um this is only designed for airplanes and whatever things you want to fly so um yeah as you ascend your plane um these sticks kind of keep rotating 
and then this one tells you if you're sending or descending so if you're sending the stick will um, go to the red area if you're descending it'll go to the blue area so again it's not mandatory um, it's just good to have all right so um, here's the crafting recipe it's the same as the regular measurement gauge except you just add two glass panes in the bottom corners the next block is the floater and um, here's the crafting recipe of wool and oak wood next to each other and basically what it does it's not a mandatory block either you add it to your boat and um, it just raises your entire boat out of the water by a little bit and you can have add as many floaters as you want and if you by all means have a uh, ship and made out of entirely out of floaters then you'll be just like skimming the water barely so yeah that's it on um, the next uh, and l final um, block is the air balloon and um, basically what it is it indicates that whatever you build is a plane so you can fly it so if you build like a plane and you just put only put your ship marker in it'll the mod will think that it's a boat and it'll act like a boat, a act like a boat. so you just have to put um, balloons on your plane and um, yeah that'll be it um, one thing is that your plane has to be 40% made out of balloons in order to fly it and uh, you could change that percentage if you go into your minecraft.jar folder or your dot minecraft folder and go into config and then um, open the the Archimedes ship config file using notepad and there'll be a little um, setting that says um, percent of uh, how much of your balloon has to be air balloons in order to fly and you can set that to whatever percent you want um, for me I, j I set it to like point zero 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 like infinity zeros and then one so you only have to have like at least or just like one air balloon in your ship to fly the whole thing so uh, yeah you just have to conf uh, play around with it in the config and uh, yeah you'll be good so um the air balloon crafting recipe is just like a regular balloon, a wool thingy, although balloons aren't made of wool, and then a string on the bottom. Alright, so now I've gone over all the blocks and crafting recipes, um, I'll show you what this mod can do. Alright, so, um, oh, oops. Alright, so here I have a little temporary, um, little sail, sailing ship. All you have to do is just put your ship marker wherever you want, uh, you can, like, put it here, or even, like, here if you want you can just still sell, sell, sell your ship as long as it's um, all the connecting blocks are um, there that are somehow connected to the ship marker also one more thing I need to point out which is kind of a doozy which is kind of a um, hard to compete with basically um, there's also another setting in your config that says only blocks that are Blocks that are basically blocks that are touching diagonally will not be part of your ship. So you have to set it so that it's true um, in your config. Basically, it'll say blocks that are diagonal will not be part of your ship equals false. Set that to true so that blocks that are diagonal with your ship will become part of your ship. If you have that false and you have blocks that are diagonal, they will not be part of your ship. And they will just be like left in the water as you sail the rest of your boat. Alright, so go ahead and... Um, the best place to put your measurement uh, gauge is to sh uh, shift and right click it on top of the ship marker and yeah. So you go ahead and right click your ship marker and basically you're just sitting right now. And oh yeah, as you see I have a cape on. So I got the cape mod. And your hand starts doing the weird glitchy thing where it shifts to the left a little bit. But anyway, um, after that you can just press forward and um, yeah. Uh, there's a little glitch where um, if your boat is like near the land, it'll um, start to go slow. So if you uh, you can either deal with that two ways, you can uh, add floaters, or you can or you just break your um, thing and then re put it on, because that's how I got it. So yeah, now we're going a lot faster. As you can see, the little speed indicator keeps going up, and the compass keeps pointing in the north direction. And, uh, yeah, just sail the seas. And, um, yeah, okay, let's get back to the mod review area. Come on. So, yeah, the boat moves pretty fast. Uh, the steering is kind of slow. I don't know if you can configure the sensitivity of that. 
And uh, when you crash into land like I just did, it does, your boat doesn't break into pieces. It just, um, it just like, uh, stops. And so, um, yeah, alright, oops. Alright, so, uh, here we go. Let's get back to the area. Oh my god. It's killing me. Alright, go. Go. Oh my god. Okay, so. It's a little bit glitchy, so try not to crash your boat into any land. So yeah, um. So yeah, if you want to stop your boat, just use the brake. You can, um, switch whatever key you want to be your braking key. So yeah, um, I'll go ahead and put a couple floaters on the boat to see. So as you, alright, so, right now we're in the ship now. It's like a little bit, um, into the water. If you add a bunch of floaters, let's go ahead and add like a bunch of floaters. It'll be a little bit out of the water as you start sailing. Actually, I don't know, I don't think it does anything. Anyway, whatever, just, anyway, whatever, just... Um, so yeah, um, let's move on. Alright, so, here I have a little temporary hot air balloon. Um, and the balloon part is obviously made out of the balloons. So I'll go ahead and put your ship marker wherever you want to pilot the, your balloon or, um, whatever, uh, little air, hot air balloon. And go ahead and put your, uh, extended gauge onto, um, your ship marker. And uh, you can go ahead and fly. Um, one thing I want to point out is, uh, well, two things is that when you get off, sometimes you'll spawn on top of your boat if you're piloted on like beneath. And uh, another thing is that when you have, um, say, you have um, uh, one of your measurement gauges into your little bar, and you have the other one um, in your inventory. If you shift click this one onto here, see these two are different. If you shift click it'll stack and um, change it. The reason why is because um, both of these are named measurement gauges so um, when you shift click the code will like be, um, know that uh, they're both named measurement gauge and they'll stack up and um, yeah so you'll lose either one so try not to shift click um, yeah alright so let's go ahead and fly this baby so um, press your send key and hold it to ascend as you can see, this stick just um, moves toward the red area, so it knows I'm just, uh, ascending. And if you want to descend, you press your descend key and you descend. And as you go up, this little thing kind of spins. <coughs> so apparently, um, the the long hand um, uh, does one rotation every ten blocks, and the short hand does one rotation every hundred blocks. So uh, yeah, so you can ascend. And once you're done descending, if you want, you can go ahead and like turn and fly wherever you want. It's um kind of slow, so um if you want to make like a super cool, fast jet, you won't be able to go like Mach two or something, whatever. You only go like pretty slow actually. So hot air balloons are ideal to make um for this mod. So uh, yeah, hold on, I'm gonna break this. I know where I'm landing. All right, so okay, so we're gonna land right. Oh, go back, go back. All right. So yeah, landing's pretty tricky. Break. All right, so align and descent. All right, so that's all for the mod today. Um, if you want to check it out, the website um to the mod and the Minecraft forums will be in the description. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now, guys. This is a pretty cool mod that, um, will be ideal for single-player, um, survival, because the crafting recipes are easy, and it's just an overall fun mod to use. Um, one thing I want to point out, I don't think you guys will use, um, boats and ships for this particular reason, but you cannot transport mobs on your boat. So, um... Yeah, you can't transport any mobs. If you try to do that, like, um, the boat will become invisible to the mobs and they'll just, like, go into the water. So, um, you can only use it, only use it to, like, transport yourself or, like, chests of stuff and, yeah. 
So that's all for now, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Again, the website will be in the description um, to the mod on the Minecraft forums. Um, this mod is Forge compatible, so if you have Forge installed, all you have to do is just drag or download the zip file and drag it into your mods folder in your .minecraft folder. So yeah, again, if you want to um, set diagonal blocks on your ship or part of your ship to true, do that in the config in your .minecraft folder, along with the percentage of how much your balloon is um, of hot air or of air balloons, so that um, your plane or hot air balloon is flyable. So yeah, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you're, there's a mod you guys want me to review, I'll go ahead, uh, go ahead and post it in the comments. Other than that, I'll just review more mods that I think are pretty cool. So uh, download this mod; it's a pretty cool mod. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you later.